Saffron by Pooja Seal and I'm Pooja and today I'm going to share with you a Turkish recipe called the Turkish Pide and it is supposedly a street food and found in local bakeries and they are made fresh and so, so are we going to do and it consists of uh, very fresh flavors of some vegetables and meat and if you want to do it a, a vegetarian version you can always do it with uh, feta cheese and spinach so let me show you how to do it and uh, before we start the recipe uh, you must turn on your oven at 375 degree Fahrenheit I'm going to make actually four pides but if you want to half the recipe you can make two pides uh, and I think that's good enough and um, let me show you how to, to start it. with the dough we are taking two cups of warm water and um, in this we are going to add uh, yeast this is active dry yeast and also we are going to add uh, sugar and this is about two teaspoonful of sugar so we are adding it to the warm water and we'll mix it till the sugar dissolves and then we are going to add three and a half tablespoon of active dried yeast so we'll mix everything together and then we'll let it bloom for five to ten minutes so, till it all foams up so now it is foamed up and I have added about six tablespoon of olive oil in it to the yeast mixture and um, this is five and a half of cups of all-purpose flour and I have added two teaspoonful of salt in it so we are going to add this um, flour mixture to the yeast mixture so let me show you how to do it So we are going to just mix everything together with the spatula. Uh, ultimately we have to make a dough like a soft and elastic dough. So I'll use my hand to do it after this. So this is how it looks when everything is mixed up and a dough is formed. So I have actually uh, put some olive oil in it and coated the dough with it. So we are now going to use a plastic uh, sheet to cover it. And then we are going to rest it for 45 minutes to an hour till the dough is doubled. So now with the filling, we are uh, using ground lamb and this is about 14 ounces of it. So this is for two pides. And the rest too I am going to do with the chicken but uh, I am not going to show that. It's the same process. So we are going to just brown the lamb in here, the ground lamb. So you can see it has browned a little bit. At this point we are going to add about uh, half of a large onion or one medium sized chopped onion and one bell pepper and half of a tomato chopped so I have de-seeded it too and we'll mix all of them together and now I'm adding about two teaspoon of uh, paprika you can increase or decrease according to your taste and this is two teaspoon full of cumin powder and two teaspoon full of black pepper powder we'll give it a stir and this is two teaspoon full of shawarma spice uh, the uh, recipe is in the description box but this is optional you can add sumac too if you have that then we'll add salt and you can see everything is cooked so I'm just adding some chopped parsley and we'll turn the heat off and let it cool now with the dough you can see it has doubled in size and what we are going to do we are going to take the dough out punch it down just like that and we are going to take it out and then I'm going to cut it into half so the rest half I'm going to do it later so I'm showing you that for two bidets now so we'll just spread it a little bit with the um, rolling pin and then we'll cut it into half again. So we'll take the quarter dough and make a round and just spread it with the palm a little bit. Then we'll use the rolling pin to give it a like a oblong shape or an oval shape and just spread it with your fingers and your palm a little bit 
and now we'll take the cooled lamb mixture and put it in the middle we'll keep a little bit space from the sides and then we are going to pinch the ends and then we are going to just take the sides and put it over the lamb mixture now let me transfer it to a baking sheet and show you how it looks so you have to make sure that it, it retains the it acts as a retaining wall the dough so we're going to make the next one too so we'll make the next one I'll show you how to do it same way just make it an oblong shape use your rolling pin too yeah just like that and then it's better if you transfer it to the baking sheet first then it's become easier to move it so here it is now I'll put the lamb mixture in the middle just like that keeping some space on the sides and then we'll take the sides pinch it together and then we'll fold it on top of the lamb mixture just like this make a retaining wall so the lamb doesn't come out and this is how it should look after the dough now this is egg wash so I'm going to just brush some egg mixed with water on the sides to give it a golden crust so we are going to bake this at 375 degree Fahrenheit for 25 to 30 minutes and so after 25 and 30 minutes fresh out of oven here it is how it looks you can see the golden crust and everything so at this point we are going to take some lemon and just sprinkle some lemon juice on top and some chopped parsley so here it is you can see the golden crust with the meat inside and it looks fabulous you can just cut it into portions so here you serving. go your turkish pide is ready to be served you can just cut it into like three or four portions each and serve them or you can go much more like you can cut into much more smaller pieces and serve it as an appetizer or a, a snack whatever or for breakfast if you want to so i'm hoping and i know you're going to make this soon because this is so easy it's just like pizza dough but in a boat form with the meat in it and no cheese so that that that's the difference and um, I, I, i'm we are just going to devour on this so uh and please do subscribe and like my youtube channel simply saffron by puja seal and don't forget to push the bell icon for further notifications whenever i post a new video and thanks for watching keep on watching see you next time bye